Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to make this exact render in Blender. It's going to be a uh, dissolve animation and as always it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render and then click X to delete the default cube. Then add a monkey and then click S to scale it and then go into the modifiers, add modifier and add a subdimension surface modifier to add additional polygons. And then click apply, add 4. And then go into the uh, particles, add a new particle system. Now take a look at the number of vertices the object has at the top and then insert it into the number for the particle system. So for this one it's over 126,000. Set the end to 1 so that all of the particles appear from the beginning and then set the lifetime to 249 so that uh, they disappear at the end. And then randomness to 0.1 now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to explain what each of these values mean, but if you want to learn more, just hold your mouse cursor above the uh, setting or the value, and you will see what they do to the particle simulation. Okay, and then let's select dynamic, and uh, then change the render to none, and then for display, set it to point, and then Let's go down to field weights and turn off gravity. And that's all. And then click Shift A. And then add the uh, turbulence force field. And then we need to go into the uh, force field settings. So we'll go into the physics. And uh, let's change the strength to zero and then animate it. Let's go to, uh, let's say, frame 20. And then click I to keyframe. Then let's go to frame 25 and increase the value to 1 so that the movement starts at uh, frame 20. Then change the flow value to 1, which uh, gives the particles a more defined path, which uh, looks a lot better. Now let's go into the particle settings for the monkey and uh, let's bake the animation. This is probably going to take some time, maybe 30 minutes or so, but uh, after that you have the uh, full animation calculated, so you don't have to do any more calculations for the animation. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we need to turn the particles into the ape mesh, so add a modifier and add the explode modifier. And then deselect dead, and then add a new modifier, which is the solidify modifier, to give the particles some volume, and set it to 0.01. And as you can see now, when we move on the timeline, the original mesh is gone, and all we have now are the particles. So let's make a save before we go to the next step of the tutorial. So just give it a name, save it wherever you want on the computer, and click enter. Now select the lamp, change it into a sun, change the size to 1 and the strength to 7. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it, if not, just keep using the CPU. Click G to grab the sun, and then R to rotate. Let's grab it even more, G to grab and R to rotate. Okay, and then go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And I think I want to make the background a little bit darker. So let's set it to something like this for the world settings. And then select the particles and add a new material. And we're going to use a glossy material and then change the roughness to uh, let's say 0 0.08. Now when it comes to the color, you can add whatever color you want. So just experiment with the colors. And if you want the exact same color as me, I will provide the RGB coordinates right now. So uh, if you want the same color, just type in the same values for uh, RGB. Okay, so now we have the lighting and the colors. So let's go back to solid view and then look through the camera. So click uh, number zero to look through the camera, and then click Shift F to use the fly cam. And you can move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game, and you can turn gravity on and off for the camera by clicking Tab. And make sure everything is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation. And I think it looks good. So uh, now we need to go into render settings, increase the resolution quality to 100%, and then make an output folder where you save your final animation. I will use PNG images. 
and then convert those PNG images into an MP4 file afterwards. And uh, for the frame rate, I'll set the frame rate to around 30. And then the samples to 300, but this depends on your computer. And then uh, set the uh, tile size to 500 if you have a GPU. If not, just use 64 if you only have a CPU. Turn on the noising and I click render. And uh, this is a test render so that you know how long it takes to render each frame. And I will make another test render for one of the early frames. And everything looks fine, so now we can render out the full animation. Okay, so click animation, and it will start rendering. And that's all for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and a new tutorial is coming very soon. So thanks for watching and subscribe.